You wanna go for a little sail, huh? I decided just to go sailing for fun. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like everybody's just getting stir crazy and bored. Like, let's just get all the boats and just go sailing. Like, and we have some friends with us today, some quarantine friends. Yeah. So happy. Yeah. Are you ready? All right, I say give her a hoist, Connor. Going for it. I love this sail, it's so awesome. I don't know, it just makes you feel happy. Yeah, it's beautiful, huh? Oh yeah. It's perfect for these conditions of zero knots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're sailing at like crawling speed. Let's keep going. That's so pretty. You want the other one? Absolutely, I do. <laughs> Connor, it's not your boat. <laughs> well, I'm assuming the captain would like that. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Womp it. Womp and hoisting. It's really fun to put up the sails like this and do something a little bit different. I feel like I'm in a good mood today and it feels great to just be under the sun and just uh, think about different things for a little bit. And I think we're gonna move um, spots to a little bit less crowded spot. Uh, not that it's a lot of boats here anyways. Yeah, it feels good. To kind of just like hop a little bit further away and just get some space. We're sailing up to uh, two Sabre 36s. We are going to thread the needle. I'm going to get some shots from the dinghy. So, dinghy ride is commencing. Water shots. We're gonna thread the needle between these two sailboats like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Go at approximately warp speed. Yeah, we made it. We had a good sail. We flew the drone. We fed the little nugget some lobster. <laughs> and now we're here. After the grass, it looks like it slowly slopes towards a little bit shallow, but not problematic. Okay. Feels great to be back at double breasted because we were here last year um, and it was a really cool spot. <laughs> little did we know that once we set our hook, this amazing place would become our home base for the next two months. And over time, we turn this uninhabited island into what I consider to be the most exclusive and fun yacht club in the entire world. Okay, one, two, three. Woo! This is the story of Delos a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. Today is day 59, I believe. That we've been out here and um, provisions are getting a little bit sparse 
Sparse? Sparse? Sparse. 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 <laughs> Sparse. Sparse. Uh, and so me and our isolation buddies, uh, Will and Grace, are going to go out and do some fishing. See if we can't rustle up something for dinner tonight. I'm going to take Sierra for a walk. That's about it. That's about our plans yeah. for the day. We had a busy day though. I made, uh, yeah. I did make a batch of moonshine. Yeah, it's looking good. We made uh, 600 liters of water. That's awesome. Uh, and we ran laundry. Laundry's just finishing up. And we did some work and editing and now it's time to go reprovision the food supplies. Place is awesome. Okay, go have and catch, fun, catch have on fun dinner. with mommy, okay? Catch on dinner. I'm gonna try and get some fish for us. Maybe some conch. Then it was just you and me, Sierra, on this whole island. It's just us. Uh, but it's really nice to, you know, be able to get off the boat a little bit. Um, and for Brian to go fishing, and for me to go for a little explore. That is. There's a lot of baby barracudas in these waters. They're so well camouflaged. Jeez. I love just like standing here looking at this clear water. It's incredibly beautiful. So many baby conks too everywhere. They're kind of stuck. I don't feel like they should be in the sun like this though. Conk saving mission. Oh. Conks. I wonder if this one is still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Oh, hey! It's pretty funny to think that I was walking this exact beach last year when I was pregnant with you, Sierra. And now here we are, <laughs> walking together. If I only knew, huh? What an absolutely fantastic day. The sun is incredible and I'm just sitting up here trying to manifest some good things in my life right now and focus on that. Uh, I feel like sometimes I get lost in these thoughts about, you know, everything that is going on and instead focus on all the amazing things in my life right now because there is a lot of incredible, incredible things. <laughs> Like, Sierra is healthy, she's sleeping right now, like, oh, I'm sitting out here on the deck and the sun is shining and just thinking about that we have some friends that we've been quarantined with and we can hang out with them. I mean, how rare is that in these times right now? I'm super, super grateful for that. I'm very proud of myself that I did that walk with Sierra myself and was able to get back in the dinghy and it just gives me freedom too to be able to feel comfortable doing those kind of things and it might seem silly to some people but I don't know I feel proud of myself for doing that <laughs> and I really hope that Brian caught some fish um, I have a good feeling about it though 
think they went pretty far away. Oh, you pretty. pulled something! Oh, yeah. did pretty good. Nice! Wow, we have an eclectic catch today. We got a couple of conch, we got some snappers. Yep, there's a hogfish in here. Hogfish, oh, snapper. Okay, Sierra, I think we got all our stuff. It's always a lot of things when you're doing a barbecue on the beach. Did you go okay to clean them? Yeah. What are you wearing? What did I found? What is this? That's kind of a crazy shirt or something. A vest? Badass, man. You look like a hillbilly. What? <laughs> look, it's badass. Look at this thing. Show off your muscles. It is pretty badass. It's cool, huh? Do you know what the rule from now on is? What's the rule? When everybody do barbecue on the beach, you have to wear that shirt. <laughs> Me and Grace did uh, some dill, some lemon, some salt, and a lot of scales. Wow, a lot of scales. I like <laughs> extra scales in my fish. I thought you just might. We have a little spot ready for you. Perfect. Whoa, there we go. That's awesome. All right, we have new members to the group tonight. <laughs> First question, where did you begin your quarantine? We began our quarantine in St. Martin. And that was how long ago? Two weeks ago. 14 days exactly? Four, uh, yes, 14 Congratulations. days. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I love doing fish this way because it stays so juicy. Mm. It doesn't dry out at all. And the moon is just crazy, huh? Yeah. What we're doing is, uh, because the entire Bahamas is locked down, technically inner island travel is not allowed by order of the Prime Minister. The one thing you are allowed is to order groceries either by phone or by internet and have them delivered to a dock. And because there is a small settlement of about 30 people down at Duncantown, there's a mail boat that runs from Nassau to uh, the south part of Ragged Island, Duncantown, uh, weekly. And so we organized with one of the supermarkets in Nassau to place an order via email and via WhatsApp. And our friends on Calico Skies, uh, Bill and Grace, have been super, super nice. And we've kind of done an order together. Um, so she was talking to the lady for a long time, like about a full day back and forth and be like, do you want this brand of coffee? Would you want one of the... Eagle Greek yogurt, 32 ounce. This one is not, no fat. Balsamic vinegar. It would be with other vinegars. Which has been an incredibly entertaining experience in itself. To get the groceries, pay for them, have them put on the local mail boat, which then sails down here. It's the last stop on the run and the mail boats just come in. Um, we are not going to move the boat, we're going to respect the, the lockdown orders, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the dinghy. So I think I'm just going to load up the dinghy with some extra fuel. Uh, it's uh, quite a ride, it's three islands down. Boom, 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 so it is five miles to there, and then another one, so let's call it six miles one way. Yeah. Okay, we got hand sanitizer, we got my mask. Bags, good go. All Don't right, go close you. to anyone. I won't. I love you. See you soon. <laughs> good luck, okay? Bye. Bye, little nugs. See you soon, little nugs. I'm gonna bring back some fresh fruit and veggies for you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Food is good.
Are you, are you ready to get some fresh groceries? Think it's gonna happen? Brian is getting groceries for a few days he's been requesting a Swedish chocolate cake so uh, I'm gonna bake it for him as a little treat how it's going for daddy, Sierra. Wait, put, put your waist just a little bit more forward. It's super shallow. You can see the... We had to stop planing because you're hitting the bottom. We shift weight forward. Yep. We're proceeding on at a slower pace. a good thing that we're getting some stuff because we have I guess we have two capsicums a little bit of cauliflower but yeah like three onions some kind of rotten tomatoes yeah. we are definitely running a little bit low so it'll be super nice to get some veggies today I really hope that it works out <laughs> yeah we'll see I hope it's going good for him but you never know with this these orders, it's the first time we're doing it too, so it's like you never really know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Can I pay you in US and Bahamas? It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> not, not Chinese money. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing us our food. Anytime. Maybe next week. Next week. <laughs> Ready? This I don't think fun. we're gonna be planing, but you never we're know. We're going about. somewhere. There we go. Just chuck it. All right. All right. See you later. See you. Cutting back. Oh. Hold on tight. I think that is almost on his way back. I heard something on the radio that they were pretty heavy or something. <laughs> so we'll see how long it takes them to get back to the boat. We have food coming! <laughs> you like food? She's actually starting to eat so much more lately, it's crazy. So here comes the first round of cold goods. We ran ahead and Maggie bought the cold stuff so it wouldn't overheat. And Brian is just arriving. And then the other guys are coming with the dry goods. Delivery. Holy, holy. Yeah. yeah. Brian, how would you rate that experience? 
That was awesome. <laughs> That's so way fun. better than provisioning on our own, isn't That's it? way better than going to the grocery store. You just go to the dock and hang out, and they get bring your groceries off the boat. Brian and I were drinking beer, smoking drinking cigars. Beer. This is a yeah, normal Sunday time, afternoon for us. Man. Oh, I think I can hear a dingy. Yeah. Five o'clock. Jeez, it took a long time, huh? But I think they have some boxes in the dinghy, what I can see, so that's exciting! Hello! What a mission, Gaza! Oh my god! We had so much stuff in here, we couldn't plane really? on the way back. <laughs> the most random shopping trip I've ever been on. But it was pretty cool. I mean, everything was organized in boxes with our name. Wow. Whether it came from the cooler, the freezer, or whether it was dry food. That's crazy. I had to leave all the dry food on Avalon because we couldn't plane, but we should probably get the stuff into the yeah. fridge freezer. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's so heavy. Man, what a mission. That was probably the most exhausting but single coolest grocery run I've ever done. It's just amazing that we can get this stuff. Like, uh, chopped spinach, that's ours. We got some spinach for the Sierra. We got minced meat. Ooh, and here we have bacon! Smoked salami. Some yogurt for Sierra. So we got everything put away and it feels amazing to be stocked up with some fresh stuff again. Like, look at these! I haven't had an orange in, yeah, in a long time. I think, I don't know when I had an orange last. It must be months ago. And yeah, we got a lot of good stuff as you can see here, fruit, veggies, cauliflower, egg, a lot of, we got a lot of cheese. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. So she will be able to try yogurt for the first time. And yeah, it feels really good to be stocked up again. Hello Devil's Tribe, check out these sweet new flags we got made. If you see somebody fight, go up and say hello and maybe bring them a beer. Uh, it's a fresh new batch waiting for you in the shop. So go and grab one. Perfect. Up next on Delos. Uh, our freezer stopped working, which couldn't be worse timing because we just got all this fresh food. It's so disheartening to work so hard to do so much planning to get good food on the boat and then something like this happens. It's just like Murphy's Law, right? <laughs> Womp. 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 Cause it goes Womp. Nice. <laughs> 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 